Hello there, and welcome once again to Art Attack, the big art show. I'm just about to make me dinner. And here are the ingredients. Cotton wool, tissue paper, and lashings of PVA glue. Mmm, my favourite. Come and have a look at this. Take a piece of white paper or card and do a drawing on it that's very simple but nice and big. Now here I'm going to make me dinner. So there's a plate. There's an egg there. Doesn't have to be a brilliant picture because this is just a rough guide. A couple of sausages, some beans around there, maybe a nice greasy chop. Ugh. And a tomato there. And when you've done your picture, get some PVA glue and mix it with just enough water, just a touch of water, so that you can paint the glue onto the picture, but just on one section. Now I'm doing the middle of the egg to start with, the yolk. Then take some cotton wool and tear off a piece that's just big enough to stick down over that section. There it is, onto the glue. And then you need some coloured tissue paper that matches that section. Now I need some yellow here to cover the yolk. You can get tissue paper in many different colours and just tear it so that it'll go over the cotton wool on that section and get your brush in the PVA glue and just simply paste down the edges of your tissue paper. Now don't go over all the tissue paper and don't touch the cotton wool with the glue. Just pasting down the edges, stuffing them in as you go and modelling it with your finger and just keep tucking in the tissue paper all around the edges. And when you finish that section, build up the whole of your picture section by section in the same way. Glue, cotton wool and tissue paper. And when you've finished it, it'll look something like this. Now you can see here, I've used the red tissue paper for the tomato, I've used sort of pinky for the chop, red or orangey there for the beans and brown for the sausages and so on. And when it's dry, just add in some more detail with a felt tip pen. I'm just going to do a couple of beans here to show you with a felt tip pen. You don't need to go over the top with detail. And you can even add some detail in using scraps of tissue paper. Just dab a little bit of green there with some PVA glue and stick it on top of the tomato. And when you've finished it, cut the whole thing out and back it onto some coloured paper or board and it will look something like that. Look at that. Even looks nice enough to eat, doesn't it? A 3D stuffed picture. And of course, you don't have to make your dinner. You can try any type of stuffed picture. Just keep it simple, draw it in sections, and make it nice and big. Oh, those are fantastic! Hello, it's me, the head. All you need is cotton wool, tissue paper, PVA glue, and felt-tip pens. I've been experimenting and, uh, just one word of advice. Don't try painting the glue directly onto the cotton wool, or this will happen. <laughs>
and I have nothing else to say about it. Except that I like it. And I'm very proud of him. Do you ever use stencils to decorate something? You just hold your stencil in place and dab the paint in through the hole in the stencil. And the stencil creates the picture for you. Well, you can buy stencils in the shop, but they tend to be a bit limited, a little bit boring, and very expensive. So why not make your own homemade stencil? Simply cut out a picture from a magazine, anything that grabs your fancy, but something that's not too complicated or too fiddly and then just draw around your picture onto a piece of stiff paper or thin card. I'm just going all round filling in the detail here. And you can draw your own design straight onto the paper or card if you like, but I find you can get some really interesting shapes from magazine photographs. Something like that. Then take a pair of scissors and cut up into the card and halfway into your shape. And the reason I'm doing that is it then makes it easier to get your scissors in to cut your shape out. And when you've cut your shape out, you'll have something that looks like that. It's a sort of broken stencil, really. Not to worry, a bit of tape, tape across the join, and there you have a homemade stencil that is as effective as the ones that you can buy in the shops. Then decide what it is that you're going to jazz up with your stencil. Well, here's an old file of mine. So I just hold the stencil into place. You can always tape it into place if you have trouble holding it. And then dab in the paint through the hole in the stencil. Just stabbing at the stencil. Now this is acrylic paint I'm using. I find acrylic paint sticks to anything. You can make your own acrylic paint using PVA glue and powder paint or a bit of poster paint. But you could use permanent markers for this. 